We're continuing our virtual tour of the Billy Graham Library and today we are at the home place. Billy's father, Frank Graham, built this home for the family and they moved in in 1927. This was Billy Graham's childhood home from age nine until he left for college. Now the home is originally located a few miles south of where we are right now at what is now Park Road Shopping Center. So let's head in and check it out. Now when the home was moved, it was taken apart brick by brick and put back together. And so about 80% of this building is original. Some of the floors and bricks and even some of the windows. Let's check out the dining room. Now, most of the furniture that's here now is not original, but it's very similar to how Mother Graham had it uh, near the end of her life when she was living here. The placemats and the napkins that are on the dining room table actually did belong to Mother Graham, as did this punch bowl that we have here. And then if you look back here on the screen porch, this patio furniture that did belong to Mother Graham as well, and it's set up pretty similar to how she had it. Billy Graham's parents were very committed to raising their children in a home filled with scripture. And so they read the Bible every morning. And Mother Graham um, kept her Bible and her devotional open on her kitchen table. And she read it throughout the day, but definitely every morning. And so we have her original Bible and her devotional here on display for guests to see. And it's turned to Proverbs 3, 5 through 6, which was Mother Graham's life verse. This curio uh, features a lot of items that are personal items from Frank and Morrow Graham. Uh, some of Morrow's jewelry, some of uh, one of Frank's uh, pair of eyeglasses, and even some pieces from the original home nails and a few pieces of building materials there for our guests to look at. In 1968, Richard Nixon came to visit Mother Graham in this home and she hosted him right here in her living room. She served him Russian tea and he was not yet president, but he did come back a few years later when he was president to celebrate Billy Graham Day here in Charlotte. This is the sunroom, and the sunroom was Mother Graham's favorite room in the house. And so this is where she did her daily work for the dairy farm, and she took care of the bookkeeping and correspondence. And so right here at this window, we have her typewriter and we have one of the dairy logs, original, um, that she used in the work that she did here in the sunroom. Throughout the home, you'll see personal photos of the Graham family at home and even on the dairy farm. Right here, we have some personal items from Mother Graham. There are correspondence and letters from friends, uh, cards and letters from Billy, as well as family photos and even uh, her gloves and handkerchief. The kitchen is a favorite among our guests when they visit the home place. Uh, the ironing board right here is original to the home, so this is the ironing board that Mother Graham used when she lived here. Now, Mother Graham loved to cook, and Billy Graham loved to eat, and he especially loved his mother's lemon icebox pie. And you can actually check out some of the Graham family recipes on our blog on billygrahamlibrary.org. When Billy Graham passed away in 2018, the Graham family hosted a public lion repose right here in this home. They wanted to give people the opportunity to pay their respects to a man who impacted millions around the world. We hope that one day you'll be able to visit and experience this important piece of history in the legacy of Billy Graham.